All right, welcome back, everyone. We are playing Disney Princess Enchanted Journey. I think I forgot to add that in my last video, but I did it this time because my brother always tells me that I should say the name of the game in each video, so I will. So right now, Cinderella has just been frozen in time, so we're just going to unfreeze her, which will take a couple seconds. It's just I didn't have any more time for the video. And then we're going to see if we can find the fairy godmother. All right. Resume game. Oh, my. But what happened? Now I understand. You must have saved me. But how did you know to look for me here? Jag and Gus sent me. They were worried when you didn't return to the castle. Well, I'm very glad they did. I certainly needed your help. Those creatures stopped me before I could find my fairy godmother. I can help you look for her. Do you know where she might be? I think she's by the wishing well outside the kitchen. Oh dear, it seems the kitchen door's been sealed with magic. Well, we'll have to fix that if we're going to find my fairy godmother. Hmm, now that's strange. This clock is the only one in the manor that's telling the correct time. I wonder, if we fix the other three clocks, perhaps that will break the magic seal on the door. Okay, this clock is set to 12. Clock confusion. Reset the clocks to their proper time. Alright, so we're gonna do that. Now I have to say, I love playing old games and watching old little cartoons from like 2000 something because all the voices are used in those. Because I think Cinderella's voice was a character on the TV show Avatar, like a really small character, but if you watch the show, you, you would be like, oh, I see. I'm really good at voices, that's why I'm able to pick out, like, who people are on certain voices. So let's set the clock. I think they're all... Probably all 12 o'clock, because that's... Okay, I've, this yeah. clock is set to 12. I had a feeling, because it's in the role, that all the clocks would have to be 12 o'clock. Which means we've been up for a very long time. It's probably past my bedtime in the game. Now, what I like to do... And you can either go up or down on the analog stick, but I would push down, because it's easier to get there. So then, once it gets to 12, you let go. Look, there's a flower in there, like in Pity and the Beast. We set that clock. Do we have any more to set? Obviously I can't go further up there, so... Gosh darn it, I can't jump over the railing. That's when you know games are cruel in certain ways. It's when you can't jump off areas. Okay, so I'm missing a clock. Oh, which should probably be in here because Cinderella went in here. <gasps> a piano! As you can tell in my videos, I love music. I can actually play a little piano I taught myself a little. I mean, it's not class- like, it's not probably, like, really classy the way I play because I wasn't taught by a teacher, but I can sometimes play with both hands a little here and there. I take singing lessons so my music teacher was able to teach me a little bit about the piano, a little bit of the, you know, little tweak, like tricks of the trade, which I was able to pick up on. This oh. clock should be set to the same time as the clock by the kitchen door. Ah, there we go. My fairy godmother should be just outside the kitchen. I have to say, who doesn't want a fairy godmother? I want one. Oh, 
Oh! Hey, I can wreak havoc in the house. That's kind of fun. Oh. I could also go up there. There we go. I was like, there has to be some way to get up there. This is a simple game, so it has to be a simple way to get up there. Right. Oh no, more bogs. See, this is what they meant by this oh, no. part of the game. The bogs are stealing coins from the wishing well, and each coin is a wish someone made. But you can get the coins back from the bogs if you use your magic. Then just pick up the coins, and that will return them to the well. Coin collecting. Get the coins back from the box. Alright, so this should be pretty easy, but I can see what they mean by the more you get further on the game, the more, you know, the more difficult it does end up getting. Now I would say, Especially on this one, I would say just press the square button because it just gets the most points out because if you just hold on to it, nothing really happens. I tried it. And you get like one coin, where in this way you just get as many as you can. Thank you again. I'm sure everyone who's made a wish at this well will be very glad you put the coins back. Here she is. This is my fairy godmother. Oh, hello, fairy godmother. It's nice to meet you. Oh, well, it's nice to meet you too, child. I'm so glad we found you. I'm afraid the kingdom is in terrible trouble. Time is frozen everywhere, and everything's standing still. Oh, dear. That is most troubling indeed. But don't you worry. I'll There's get a horse to the, in the bottom window. of this at once. Alright, so that chapter's end. Now, what I said in the last one is actually true this time. We are going to be doing part three now. And that'll probably be after we're done with that, the end of this video, and then we will be meeting Snow White and her seven dwarves. I think this is a perfect game for children because of how simple it is. At least for girls, of course. Alright, so here we are. I wonder what the fairy godmother's doing in the clock tower. I guess I should go see her. Obviously, you can only get 999, so you must be able to do something with them in the game. I'm not exactly sure. Could be something near the end, but I'm not going to be a spoiler, so I'm not going to say anything that I'm not... And also because I'm not sure, I don't want to spoil it. Just in time.
thing, too. I think I found the cause of all our troubles. There are three cogs missing from this cog. Oh, but what's a cog? Oh, well, uh, do you see that, um, that round, uh, that, that thing right there? That's a cog. They make the clock tower tick, and without them, well, time is frozen. Well, I'd like to help. Do you know where I can find more cogs? Oh, dear me, I'm afraid I don't. But perhaps Cinderella does. She should be at the manor. Don't worry, you can count on me. Find Cinderella at the manor. Ask Cinderella about the cogs. All right, so... Can't jump down Wow, oh, should we keep on pressing the wrong buttons? Cinderella at the manor. Get there. Stop pushing. I think they really just say that so that the little kids don't get distracted like me. Well, I'm not a little kid, but I get distracted too. Maybe it is a good thing that they add that. Thank you for returning. We could certainly use your help again. You see, we still haven't solved the problem with time. I know, but I think we found a clue. Your fairy godmother discovered that the clock tower is missing some cogs. And she thinks that might be why time is frozen. Do you know where I could find three cogs to fix the clock? Well, you might try looking in the attic. There are all sorts of things like that there. If you go to the attic, you might find the pieces missing from the clock tower. Find the cog. Look for the cog at the manor. All right, so we're right here at the manor. Now the one thing I have to say is I think this, you know, I think as a general rule, the 
third chapter of all of these I wonder are where that short. cog could be. Hmm. Well, I know Gus and Jack like to hide things they found behind the stairs. Oh. Well, let's do what she says. Gosh, it's very high up here. I'm afraid of heights and I am even in video games. Uh. So we got two of the three clogs already. We should go visit the farm next. You never know what the farmer might have. Alright. If that's what you think. at 16 minutes, so I'm not sure whether I should stop it by the time we get to the farmer, or just wait. Let's see if I can do this all pretty fast. Oh, wait, hold on. Not too fast. <laughs> I'd like to show everybody where the goodies are. We should go visit the farm next. You never know what the farmer there, might have. There. If it overlaps on 20 minutes, that's okay. You're here. If you hurry, you can save my pear tree. You just need to use that basket to catch the pears. Okay, but how exactly do I do that? Here, I'll show you. So this is like catching the pearls or areas. These little stuff. mice can move the basket left and right for you. Now, the trick to catching pears is to watch for falling leaves. That means a pear is just about to drop. Then, you quickly move oh, the basket under the leaves, difficult. like so. There are lots of pears in this tree, so be sure to catch them all. Falling pears. Catch the pears for the farmer. Okay, so let's see. Ah, oh, there we go. Ah, wow, that was a pretty close call. I don't like dropping anything. Perfectionist, but I don't like missing anything. Oh, jeez. Ah, 
Yahoo! You saved the pears! <sighs> I wish there was some way I could repay you. Say, I don't suppose this cog the bogs left behind would be of any use to you, would it? Actually, it would. Thank you. Now that I have three cogs, I need to get back to the clock tower. Alright, so... I think this will be a wrap-up for this one. So, thank you for joining me and playing Disney Princess Enchanted Journey.